हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स ये वन स्टॉप फॉर लर्निंग ऑल द मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सक्सेस इन कंपटीशंस एंड स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू एक्सेल इन दीस शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स राइट फ्रॉम द स्कूल लेवल सो दैट यू कैन यू नो डेवलप दोस स्किल्स व्हिच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रैक ह्यूज कंपटीटिव एग्जाम्स व्हेन यू ग्रो अप एंड पास आउट ऑफ द स्कूल एडिंग एंड सबट्रैक्टिंग द नंबर्स व्हिच इन्वॉल्व कैरी दैट मींस you you know what is carry right that's a very famous word among uh, the maths teachers of junior classes and even the students uh headache you know that's what i call it for maximum number of students when they begin to learn add and subtract uh, problems so what if you can find a way out of adding and subtracting without a carry for the numbers which involve a carry that will be amazing right watch the entire video and you are going to learn something very very useful today and i tell you you are not going to commit an error in these basic calculations from now on i have been telling my friends you know www.sureshagarwal.in that's the website on which you can find a huge collection of pdfs the content is very very useful for all of you to develop those skills uh you know very very nominal cost associated with these uh, because it takes a huge lot of time to create content you know to come up with those huge collection of questions we can't frame even a single question of a concept right we just are used to the textbooks which are giving us ready made material so we are creating huge number of questions for all of you so visit this website once just check what we are uploading every day or you can send me a message on whatsapp 9896369963 because there is a nominal cost associated with that and ebook of short tricks reasoning course everything is there on uh, the uh, website also the cbsc practice worksheets this is something which we have come up very very recently and i hope all of you will get benefit out of those huge huge collection of questions which we are giving through these worksheets okay let's see first of all the basic problems of addition first now i'll take a, a huge addition problem and i'll tell you how you can solve that in how much time 3 4 seconds problems of carry 3 4 seconds okay let me take an example 7 4 6 5 and i need to add 8 6 5 9 to that now look at the problem the digits are like very huge right i have not taken 0 1 2 3 all the digits are 4 or above you know how will i do it i do it like this 15 10 11 14 so the answer is 4 2 1 6 check did i do any carry here friends any kind of calculations in rough work nothing and i tell you these basic things you know if, if parents are watching this video if uh, the junior school uh, teachers are watching watching this video please inculcate these habits in your children you know they they are the ones who are going to struggle when they grow up in these basic calculations if they don't learn such smart tricks at school level itself so let's be responsible parents let's be responsible teachers and teach the students these smart skills so what do what did i do here i just added the numbers vertically 8 plus 7 is uh, i should be very good in single digit addition obviously 8 plus 7 is 15 so i wrote 15 here 4 plus 6 is 10 so i wrote 10 here look at the way i am writing it i am writing them diagonally like you have to write the first digit of the second number below the second digit of the first number so you can see there and likewise 6 plus 4 is 11 look at how how did i write it and then 4 plus 5 is 4 plus 9 is uh, i'm sorry 5 plus 9 is 14 and i have written it here and then it's all vertical addition that's it very very easy method okay let's take another example so uh, in order to make you believe that you can actually do this very quickly i'm taking up some more examples suppose we have 3619 and i need to add 8892 to that so i'll do it like 8 plus 3 is 11 6 plus 8 is 14 so i'll write it like this 1 plus 9 is 10 so i'll write it like this and 9 plus 2 is 11 see when i am explaining it to you i am taking time but 
what did i do in the first one very quick right okay so now add vertically 1 0 plus 1 is 1 4 plus 1 is 5 1 plus 1 is 2 and then 1 so 1 2 5 1 1 pick up your calculators friends and check no carry right and the students struggle in the very concept of carry itself let's have one more example then i move on to uh, the subtraction part um let's take 5 6 9 6 and i need to add 3 8 4 5 to that so I'll, how will i do it 5 plus 3 is 8 so write it since this is the first number uh, i don't need to write 0 otherwise you know if uh, if uh, in the middle digits if you get a single digit number when you add them vertically write it as zero like if you get a single digit number like six so you write it as zero is zero six that's important then eight plus six is uh, 14 so 14 here and uh, nine plus four is 13 so 13 here and six plus five is 11 so 11 here and then add vertically one four five nine and zero obviously it doesn't matter nine five four one is the answer so what did i tell you about that single digit if you're getting a single digit i'll just take a very small example so that you can learn that also suppose you have uh, like nine four seven and i need to add two three four to that now what did i what do i do here nine plus two is eleven so i'll write it like this four plus three is seven so i'll write zero seven and seven plus four is eleven so i'll write eleven now that's important okay so what's the answer for this i'll add vertically and get my answer the answer for the question will be one eight one one so one one eight one is the answer very simple no carries involved there now this is addition we can actually do all the subtraction problems also without carry let's have some examples of subtraction the first example which i'm going to take up is like 682 and i need to subtract like 58 from this so you can see there's a carry involved there 2 and 8 so it's not carry it's basically borrowing so we have to borrow one from here right in the addition it was carry over now it is borrowing so whenever you know problems involve borrowing again students commit a lot of errors so let's convert this problem into a problem of uh, a type in which there is no borrowing involved how do i do that see it's so simple i'll convert this see 58 which is the closest base quantity to 58 58 i think is very close to 60 right so let's increase this by 2 so this will be 60 and i'll increase this also by 2 682 becomes 684 just subtract these now is there a carry involved not at all and the answer is 4 2 6 so 624 now do the original calculation using the calculator i'm sure you're going to find the same answer 624 now sounds very easy right but sometimes you know when you solve a variety of problems based on this method you will know that the, the uh, you know delicate things the in uh, intricacies of the, uh, these uh, smart tricks so more you practice the more you come to know about how what are the various things to uh, be careful about so let's see another one suppose i need to do 713 minus 486 now obviously the senior students will do it in a flash right they don't need any borrowing or any any kind of trick for that but this is for my junior students actually okay so 486 is very close to 500 so i'll convert that to 500 so what did i do i added 14 and if i add 14 to this 13 plus 14 becomes 27 so 727 and now if you subtract wow this is just nothing 227 now do this calculation the answer is going to be 227 itself i don't need to check it using the calculator you can do it okay one more question let's see uh, a four digit number like four eight six eight and i need to subtract like one three five no one three four nine can we take one three four nine okay great so because eight and nine i have to borrow one right 
So let's convert this into 1350. So I have increased it by 1. So I'll increase this also by 1. 4, 8, 6, 9. And now can you subtract it? 9, 1, 5, 3. 3, 5, 1, 9. No, again, no borrowing involved there. I just added 1, added 1 to the first number and added 1 to the last number so that my unit digit became 0. And 0 is uh, not. Uh, uh, more than any number, right? It has to be the smallest whole number and therefore no borrowing involved now. Smart conversions. That's what is this video all about. Adding and subtracting can be real fun if you know such short tricks. And that's why I keep on telling you to procure the ebook of short tricks. So WhatsApp 9896-369963 if you want your kid to excel in these basic calculations so that he or she does not uh, uh, commit those basic errors, the errors in calculations when uh, they are subjected to such uh, competitive exams in which lakhs of students are appearing. So friends, do share this with all the teachers, all the parents who are struggling to inculcate these uh, concepts in the students. Do subscribe the channel and click bell-shaped icon for getting all the notifications. Thanks for watching this video and all the best for your practice.